Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagri here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we played as Orcadan. And now let's see who we play as next. Uh, let's be Mitsurugi. What are your costumes? That doesn't look too bad. Ooh, I like that. Now let's go that. Let's use Soul Edge. Even the Tenskar rifle rifles, which had once considered the greatest enemy, no longer concerned Mitsurugi. He had lost interest in the ultimate weapon, Soul Edge, as well. It was this time that Mitsurugi was attacked by forces pursuing fragments of Soul Edge. He fended off his attackers and noticed their garments resembled those of female ninja who had stood in his path many times in the past. Was something happening in Japan? Mitsurugi decided it was time to return to his homeland. It was the end of the Warring States period. The Nomonaka forces, who Mitsurugi slayed upon returning, had refused to submit to the to Tomi and were preparing to make their last stand as proud men of the sea. He, Mitsurugi immediately agreed to join and fight and began preparations for battle. So yeah, oh, so this would have been like near the end of the Warring States. At the time, Japan was being uh, unified. The forces that opposed it, it that opposed the rule were putting up their final struggle. Oh, it were, no, it wouldn't be the actual end of the Warring States. But yeah, it would have probably been like... Yeah, I think around this time period, it would have been like at near, like around the time Hideyoshi united Japan. So it would have been like with its second unifier. Yeah, the Makaka Navy with Mitsurugi had once been affiliated was also preparing a counterattack against its enemies. Mitsurugi, known for his skill with the sword, was welcome and he decided to aid their battle. He thought that perhaps this battle might fill the void it inside himself. Watched over by the Almighty Ones, they unleash their fury. If you're going to stand in my way, you're dead. What do you want, you bastard? Versus Samurai. Fight! Is this Samurai supposed to be based on Yukima? It's definitely the... I know this is like, tradi like traditional like Japanese armor, but the color makes me think- the color and the horns make me feel like it's supposed to be based on Yukima. As he was working with the Tatomi at the time. How pathetic. Don't make me laugh. The opposition was- the operation was a success, but Mitsurugi did not feel ill-fulfilled. Upon hearing rumors of the general that someone known as the Azure Knight was rampaging in Europe, he bid his farewell and hurried to the west. Before, when Mitsurugi had been seeking Soul Edge, he had heard rumors of a powerful man like this. But those rumors had stopped after a while. The man would surely be the one who would satisfy Mitsurugi's thirst for battle. Let's board a ship to Europe. Mitsurugi arrived in Rome, oh, but he found no helpful clues of what to do now. As he pondered his situation, he came upon an arena. He had used, used up the money he had earned during the battle in Japan. Additionally, the warriors gathered the arena would likely know something that would be of use to him. He moves onward without pause until the day he completes his great quest. Don't let your guard down or you'll die. Let's see what you've got! Versus Rock. Fight! Out of the way! Ow! Let's just slice you up! You win! You thought you could defeat me? How absurd! Mitsurugi learned of the Azure Knight from one of the warriors at the arena. The knight who had once rampaged across Europe was called Nightmare and was wreaking havoc once again. Mitsurugi headed to a castle ruin that the knight had once used as a base. It is said that the Azure Knight had since left, but the dark aura that covered the land was still powerful. Mitsurugi approached the castle ruins. 
he could sense someone or something lying in wait within. Let's fight Tira. Ouch. And she ringed me out. I guess she got tired of me ringing her out every time we got to the stage. Ow, you are very aggressive today, Tira. You lose. Hmm, very mediocre. This one do Nine. No. Let me give you a taste of my steel. You'll be dead before you know it. Versus Tira. Fight! <laughs> Who get away from the ledge? Got her. You win. Not even the king of hell could stand against my blade. The enemy slipped away from Mitsurugi and ran, and for a while Mitsurugi was on guard for a surprise attack. But he eventually sheathed his sword. The feeling of the enemy's presence had finally disappeared. In the air above, however, circled a number of black birds. He could not help but feel being watched. Now what should he do next? In the room in the ruined castle, Mitsuruki found traces of someone who once lived there. Following the clues, he headed to London seeking information about a female archimist who wielded a living sword and was thought to be a follower of Nightmare. He found himself standing before a large mansion. It is, was said that it had been many years since the owner of this mansion had died. Mitsurugi stepped inside. She seeks the sword that may be her only salvation. Time to meet your maker. Well, aren't we cheeky? This'll be fun. Versus Ivy, fight! Ow. I wish I knew how to play as Ivy in this game, because her moves are sick. You win. Too easy. Don't waste my time. I think they made her moves a lot easier to do in SoCal 4. From the female alchemist's words, Ms. Ruki had now confirmed. Er, confirmation that Nightmare possessed Soul Edge. He then proceeded to ask about the man with the scythe who appeared to be involved. Following the rumors of the man, he arrived at the clock tower of an old temple, but Mitsuruki was not at ease. He felt that, it, that he had been led here by the very one he was seeking. This is absurd. You are not worthy to find the sword. I shall kill you here and now. You're quicker than I thought. I was wrong about you. Watch, you'll see just how wrong you are. Versus Sasalamel. Fight! Let's fight Sasalamel. Ow! Ow, please get up, Mitsuruki! Got him! 
You win. How pathetic. Don't make me laugh. The Azure Knight, Nightmare, has arisen, and even now he heads east, seeking power. If you seek Soled, search for him. These were the words the man disappeared into the shadows. Deciding that he couldn't expect to find any further clues in Europe, Mitsurugi headed east. After entering India, Mitsurugi headed for the port city, where a horde of monsters who was said to have appeared and caused a massacre several years ago. Perhaps this was related to the incidents caused by Soul Edge and Nightmare. Visiting the port city, Mitsuruki got in, uh, into an argument with a man, and apparently he thought that Mitsuruki was just a tourist uh, to hear the tale of the incident. For some reason, the man considered this an offense. His soul burns violently for vengeance. Ready? You really want to do this? Versus Maxi, fight! Fight Maxi! Ow! And I got KO'd. You lose. Oh man, you messed up my hair. Nine. You'll regret this. You really think you can keep up with me? Versus Maxi, fight. <laughs> Come on. Got him. You win. There is nothing I cannot cut through. In India, Mitsurugi did not gain any information regarding Nightmare, but he did learn something of interest. The Sword of Heroes, sought by the Emperor er, Ming. Oh, great. Hey, the great country to the east was actually Soledge. Upon arriving in Ming, it seems the search for the sword was a secret project. He wouldn't be able to find anything by just investigating normally. Growing frustrated, he devised a plan to sneak into the military officer's mansion. Her graceful sword dance grows. Let's see how many tries this fight takes. Stronger. You're eager to die. Very well then. Are you ready for this? Versus Shanghua, fight! <laughs> Oh, thank God, we had an easy time against her this time. Too easy. Don't waste my time. Successfully defeating the guard, Mitsuruki attained the information he desired. Ming had searched for the Sword of Heroes several times in the past, but never with any success. In other words, Soledge was not in this country. After carefully investigating the information he had attained, he headed west. The city at which he eventually he arrived had already been destroyed. It was the work of a man he sought. Mitsurugi pondered this. He was suddenly attacked. The winds guide her with visions of the heavens. Your chance to beg is over. Some things can only be conveyed through battle. Versus Talon. Hello, Talon. Are you going to be killing yourself again <laughs> like last time? I love that. She does a jump. It's like wind. Ah! And I think she's angry about it. <laughs> you lose. Oh, she she managed to parry that. 
Nice! Got the KO! You win! We can do this as many times as you like. The girl introduced herself as Talon and apologized for mistaking him for a thief. She lived in hiding here with a handful of orphans. They had lived in fear of the knight in blue armor, who had apparently a recently appeared. Faced with this power, they had no choice but to hide away. Several weeks ago, however, a knight had suddenly appeared wielding an enormous sword, and this ni blue knight I had left in pursuit. Out of this man, it was Nightmare. But who was the knight with the enormous sword? Tracing the clues and pursuing Nightmare, Mitsuruki eventually arrived at a cathedral in a remote area. He was mere steps behind Nightmare. With this decisive battle right before him, Mitsuruki could not help but tremble with anticipation. But a few moments after passing through the door, he sensed an aggressive presence. He didn't know who it was, but it seemed he had another battle to face before Nightmare. My master must be avenged. I don't know what you're talking about. Versus Setsuka, fight! <laughs> Ow. Wish I was that good with her. And she very easily kicked my ass. I knew this would not bring him back, but it had to be done. Nine. Here I come. My life is not yours for the taking. Versus Setska. Fight. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god! Didn't think that would lead to a ring out. But it had to be done. Nine. Don't let your guard. Like, oh, I'm doing well, and then get ringed out. Let's see what you can do. Versus Seska. Fight! I didn't think Seska would be would be able to be a lot of trouble. I wish I was that good as her when I played her. Jesus Christ! You lose. I knew this would not bring him back, but it had to be done. Nine. Time to meet your maker. Are she is she that angry? I played her so badly. This will be easy. Versus Setska, fight. Like you want to see how good Setska can be? Jesus Christ! Okay, that looked kind of cool. You lose. I knew this would not bring him back. Nice. But You're eager to die. Very well then. I guess you don't care if you live. Versus Setska, fight. There we go. You win. Your sword skills. Now I remember. Not even turning to look at the bars that fell behind him, Mitsuruki ran. Judging from the sounds that echoed through the hallway, the battle was extremely fierce. Mitsuruki continued to run, heading for the place Ace of Battle. Time to fight Siegfried. Ow. Ow. 
ow, ow, and I'm gone. You lose. I did well at first, and then he managed to kick my ass. Down, or you'll die. I'm done with nightmares. Versus Siegfried, fight. Ow. Oh, come on. I was going to do a sly kick and hopefully ring you out. Never again. Nice. You won't make it through this fight. I fear nothing. I will face my darkness. Versus Siegfried. Fight. Oh my god! You lose. The game is very angry today, apparently. If you're going to stand in my way, you're dead. Sinners need no mercy or sympathy. Versus Siegfried, fight! <laughs> How is he getting through my block when I have to hit up? No! You lose. Never again. Nine. Time to meet your maker. I don't know. Slither of health of the game is like, nope, die. You could never understand. Versus Siegfried. Fight. <laughs> Oh my god, is super hard mode on or something? Jesus Christ, why are you this aggressive separate? How did I die? Never again. He never hit me! And Miss what, the Mitsuruki had a heart attack? What the hell killed him? I must finish my duty. Versus Sigbree, fight! <laughs> Finally got a ring out. Too easy. Don't waste my time. I'm impressed that you made it this far. Not bad at all. My dream is about to be realized. You, however, are not worthy of witnessing this glorious moment. Leave this place at once. That's all you have to say, Mr. Rookie is all right. Come on. God damn it. You lose. Looked like it was going well first, and then this said no. Let me give you a taste. Versus Abyss, fight! <laughs> Ow. Of course he perfect to me. You lose. This is absurd. Nine. I don't care who you are. I'll win. Allow me to teach you the meaning of Versus Abyss. Fight! Ouch! Come on! You lose! 
Your chance to beg is over. You shall have a taste of my This is gonna take so many tries. Versus Abyss. Fight! Apparently Abyss just wants to keep perfecting me and not give me a chance to do a lot of damage to him. Please go over the edge. Even another grab. How did none of those hit? I call bullshit on that. No! You lose. Of course, I start well, and then the game's like, "Fuck you!" Ring out. I don't care who you are. I win. You will stand in with me. Versus Abyss. Fight. <laughs> Finally, a ring out. You win. How pathetic. Don't make me laugh. Is there no one stronger around? There he is! It's Mitsurugi! Kill him and raise our ah! honor! If you want to kill me, you'd better bring a whole army! And that was Mizuruki! Oh my god, I can't believe that the game decided near the like, last two to three fights is like, yeah, we're just gonna activate like super hard mode and give you a hard time. Jesus Christ. Anyway. That's it for this episode, so I'll leave you to these credits. If you enjoyed this episode, do you like the video as it helps tremendously? Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts of this episode. Oh, and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you for whoever I play as next. Later.
the legend will never die.